Hey Sagittarius! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Boo Over Healing Guidance and Tarot. You guys were not playing. You like, listen, I know our birthday is always November, December, but we try and go first with these hidden troops, okay? <laughs> so Sagittarius, you guys are up, alright? Let's go ahead and get into these hidden truth messages and see what it is that Spirit has here for you on today. Sagittarius did not come to play, honey. They said we're not going last this time, goddammit. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> All right, so let us go ahead, Saggy. Let us see what the messages are here for you with this hidden truth. If you have not already, please do go ahead and subscribe to the page. Make sure you um, have your notifications on so that you receive all updates, okay? Whether it be a video posted, a uh, vote being casted, okay? What we got? We got the Queen of Swords coming out, okay? So there is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person involved somewhere here in your reading. Something you need to know about this person, okay? Let us see what's going on with this person. We have the Five of Pentacles in the challenge position. I feel like this person has blocked you out, has iced you out, something like that, okay? You may be wondering about them or you, you might be concerned for their well-being. They're not telling you everything or they're not letting you know what's going on. Yeah, we got the Eight of Cups as the underlying energy confirming what I'm saying. All right, they've completely removed themselves and you're like, mm, are you okay? What's going on with you? What's your problem? You know, <clears throat> we have the king of pentacles here. All right. So I feel like you guys are being guided to see, let's say, for example, if you did anything for this queen of swords that puts you in a position where you feel like now you have to get your money back up five of pentacles okay the king of pentacles lets you know that everything will be well your money is going to grow again whatever you're doing for business is going to be successful all right this also could represent a very dependable or reliable person so let's say in some way this queen of swords left you hanging maybe they were supposed to give you a bonus or, or give you money or something they left you hanging this king of pentacles capricorn Taurus, or virgo is going to come through clutch okay they're going to be the answer to your your problem them okay or <clears throat> something like that <clears throat> we have the three of cups energy here as the focus okay so something about a friend okay somebody is a really really good friend could be this earth sign person that comes through clutch when you need them okay last minute let us see what's going on here all right, we have the two of swords as the outcome. So I feel like you're going to be able to see a person for who they are or see a situation for what it is. Excuse me, but maybe that's not what you wanted it to be. So you're trying to paint a different picture. Okay, now anytime we see this two of swords, we really have to be careful, y'all, of what we're telling ourselves versus what it really is. Okay. Let us see here for our Sagittarians. Okay, we got the full card. But I see you're going to be letting go of all attachments to anything that does not serve you and moving forward on faith. Okay, now with today being the 27th of July, let me go ahead and double check before I continue. Yes, today is the 27th of July. Tomorrow being the 28th, we have that new moon in Leo. Okay, ooh, ooh. and we also have that um, Jupiter retrograde starting. So I'm going to be talking a lot more about that later, but for those of you who just want to hear a little snippet, okay, um, you can listen to this. For those of you who don't, go ahead and skip forward to the rest of the reading. But um, Jupiter, you know, is that planet that deals with self-belief and confidence, where Leo is all about confidence and willpower and being the showstopper and attention, you know, gets put on them as soon as they walk in the room. So they're like the center of, the, of attention, okay? Um, the, with Jupiter being in retrograde, it's kind of like saying we might not have the confidence. We might not believe in ourselves. We might not be willing to take that leap of faith. So it's something here about these energies that kind of go hand in hand with that. Okay. And why it's going to be so difficult to navigate because we see that it might be best for us to take a leap of faith forward and leave someone behind, but that might not be what we want to do. And also our confidence in ourselves and our ability to be able to be successful with that leap of faith may be preventing us from taking it okay we have the chariot here yeah and the chariot coming out with the seven of swords so some of you may be realizing hey 
In order for me to prosper, in order for me to move forward, I got to do this without telling everybody my business. Because it looks here like with the magician as the underlying energy, you have all that you need in order to make something happen. Okay? Um, like I said, whatever you're dealing with or whatever you're working on is going to work out really well. If in any way you got put in a hole financially, that situation is turning around with that King of Wands. I mean, King of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to be celebrating yourself or celebrating something. Also, something about friendship being highlighted and emphasized in your reading. Okay? Maybe you didn't want to see the truth about a person because you wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt. But you're realizing that it's best to just leave this person behind and worry about yourself. Because it seems like other people are doing just that. They're they're leaving you behind. So it's like, why are you so concerned with doing you? Why are you co so concerned with doing what's best for you? And if there's something wrong with this Gemini person, Libra person or Aquarius person, where they kind of just blocked you out, iced you out okay don't worry about that they did that because they're they're thinking about them okay the queen of swords is is <clears throat> someone who looks in front of her she is not worried about who's on the side of her what happened in the past none of that okay um who her competitors are none of that so if she left you behind or if he left you behind it is what it is keep it moving okay that's the energy that if that it feels like here in this reading like you guys just need to go ahead keep it moving don't worry about whoever this queen of swords is because they're not worried about you all right queen of swords here in the upright position for our sagittarians okay what do we have we got the seven of pentacles yeah so you guys and made investments into this person okay and we're thinking about reciprocity now i gave all of this to you can you return it i did all of this for you can you do that for me no they can't Okay, they can't. They're thinking about themselves. So we have the five of pentacles here in a challenge position for our Sagis. All right. We have the seven of cups. So feeling really, really confused. Also, lots of things. So somebody here could have bought lots of things that put them in a place where they feel financially burdened. Okay. And now having a decision or a choice to make moving forward. All right. So this king of pentacles here for our Sagittarians. <clears throat> Okay, we have the Ten of Cups. So yeah, harmonizing. This could also represent um, an Earth sign uh, family member that comes through clutch with the finances that you need without expecting anything in return. Okay, um, this could also be, like I said, things working out really well, things harmonizing. Okay, and you no longer feeling burdened or like you can't do the things that you need to or want to do. There's a friendship here that may be ending. Like I said, celebratory energy, yes, yeah, celebrating things being harmonized. But there's also friendship being highlighted and emphasized in your reading where there's one coming to an ending. Simply because you realize that you need to bring balance back into your life. If I'm doing things for you and investing in you, but you're not willing to do the same for me. Not saying that I expect you to, but in the event that I need you to. You're not willing to do the same thing for me. Then this is not an equally yoked situation. So maybe it's best to just go ahead and end it. Okay. And then here, here comes the stability. So I tell people all the time, energy is very, very real. If you have somebody around you that doesn't want well for you, that doesn't mean good by you, that sends you negative or hateful energy in any way, then they're going to affect your energy. Okay? If you have somebody who's low vibrational, pessimistic, always thinking bad, okay? Never seeing the good in people, situations, always woe is me, that energy is going to rub off on you. So... It's best that you go ahead and sever this connection in order to allow yourself to prosper. Seriously. So we have the two of swords being clarified by the five of swords. Okay. You win. And then it's king of swords. So once again, whether it's a woman or a man, some of you really just genuinely don't want to believe that this person has malicious intent or that they mean ill or anything like that. But you fail to understand that people come into this world by themselves and they go out of this world by themselves. So they're not too beat for <laughs> you or other people. Like, And I'm not saying everybody is like this. Because whoever I'm talking to, you always think of others. But with the judgment card is underlying the energy, this goes hand in hand with what, with what I'm saying right now. Okay? I'm about to say with what Keontae is saying right now. That's how you know when I channel I'm somebody else. But this goes hand in hand with what I'm saying right now. Okay? At the end of the day, it's all about spiritual discernment. Being able to see, is this person really a friend? Is this person really for me? You get what I'm saying? So we have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are slowly but surely 
taking the necessary steps to be able to have your brand new beginning and lo and behold spirit is in favor of this brand new beginning with the wheel of fortune card spirit wants for you to move forward okay we have the three of cups here like i said um if there's a friend who's been being very sneaky okay they only thinking about themselves how they can promote themselves how they can elevate themselves they're not thinking about you now this is double emphasis on the underlying energy of the magician so you are the magician you are more than capable of making things happen for yourself you have all the necessary skills all the tools right in front of you to be able to make something happen someone needed to hear this because you're in your mind saying how is that going to happen how am i going to do it i feel stuck i feel like i can't get out of this situation well spirit is showing you as a magician not once but twice all right so if this was your message or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and hair